and now I'm going to share with you something special. So I've just been in St Paul's for a really productive and creative meeting and now I want to give you a very quick video. Someone reached out to me recently on LinkedIn who had something to say about my work. I'm going to call him Edward, that's not his real name, but let's just call him Edward. And he said this, I worked in the Home Office's Judicial Review Department. He recalls some grounds which I wrote, some grounds for judicial review, which I wrote on a particular case. It was quite refreshing as a respondent to receive clear, straightforward and powerful grounds, which led me to a clear conclusion. Most grounds I read were of little assistance, especially in a case as complex and emotional as this. And he continued. I think one of the biggest inhibitors to quick concessions is clear, straight-talking grounds. A lot of grounds are quick to throw anything and everything at the Home Office in the hope that something sticks. But it is often the clarity of the issue is X and this is what you've done wrong in the first sentence, which is exactly what you did. Now, that's really lovely feedback. Thank you, Edward. I really, really appreciate your very kind words and feel humbled, really, that someone felt able to communicate to me uh, across the divide. Something that Edward has tapped into is that your first sentence, how you start off your legal document is hugely important because it shapes the rest of the reader's experience. And you need to be providing guidance to a judge or to a decision maker right from the very, very first line. The second thing is that it's hugely important to provide the reader with a summary of what your case is about. It's no good just laying out the facts because there could be hundreds if not thousands of facts or pieces of evidence that need to be considered. But certainly within the first few lines, you have to do what lawyers are good at, which is to summarize a vast amount of legal and factual material into a pithy statement, into a story that can guide a reader through the rest of the next 10, 12, 22 pages. And the last thing is that it's hugely important nowadays as a lawyer to be open to your audience and to engage with people, whoever they are, because everything is potentially marketing. The way that you present yourself in a court or tribunal, the written document that you provide, whether it's to the Home Office or to a government agency or local authority or to a judge, that says something about you. It says something about your brand and how you communicate. And if you can communicate effectively through all of those channels, then you're doing a good job at presenting exactly what it is that you do in an accessible way and in a way which people are going to respond to. So I'd just like to say thank you to Edward. Thank you also to all of those other people who have recently got in touch with me just to say hi, to find out um, more about what it is I do and to see if we can work together, collaborate or if there's some kind of potential synergy. Those conversations are really valuable to me and they tell me that something is working well, that the system is kind of putting me in touch with um, the right people in my network. So thanks again and I'll see you next time. Ciao.